welcome one and all, my name is Thomas and today we are painting Clan Jade Falcon Delta Galaxy. A pouncer from this said unit to be more specific. And uh, well, you know the drill by now, we start by hitting it with some base paint. You can either do this by rail can, brush, airbrush, either way works. If you have the corners of it, you can also technically just dip it and flick it off, but that's not a good way to do it. Uh, the painting question here is the um, Caliban Green from Games Workshop. And um, once it's dry, we start hitting it with several coats of brighter green. And uh, this is a blocking stage, so again, you don't need to be overly specific or meticulous, because you will we will hit this with a wash later on, we'll take care of some of the um, darker areas. So just block in where you want the green in this case. We are reserving the shins of the mech, so to speak, for the for yellow, so we are not painting those all right now. We could technically have just done nothing with them to begin with, but painting them in green is okay. You might have to work a bit harder with the yellow, but for intents and purposes, it doesn't matter. As I just hit in time, make one good solid blocking in of green and let that dry properly. And then we go on to repeating the entire thing another time. This time with a mix of your previous color and a even lighter green. The mix should be at 60 40 of the darker color, just to give you a slightly brighter but not too bright uh, version of the paint. So you have somewhere to go after this. You can also do a 70-30 if you want. If you go do more layers. Or if you're one of those people who really, really like to do layering. A 90-10. But then you're really have to work it up. Me, I probably did it somewhere around a... Somewhere around 60-40. It's a bit too bright, but again, it dulls when it dries. So don't go too too dark either because you have to have a layer then that does not do anything. But yeah, you just then hit the entire mech with this, making sure that you get all the nooks and crannies. But again, as always, try to stay away from the deepest recesses and panel lines between the panels because we don't want to unnecessarily have to go with that step again. That is why we use a dark base coat to so get some natural shadows in there without having to panel line it. If you like to panel line it, you can just skip that step. You just go with a brighter base color. But I don't like that. I prefer to do this in layers instead. Now, with everything dry and solid, just make sure you hit all the pieces you want, go over it one more time, and then move on to a brighter green. Again, this could be the brighter green all by itself, or you can use a few layers of uh, successively more of the bright green in the dark green. So start flipping it a 60-40 mix that way, or a 7-30 that way, depends on how many layers you want to do. In this case, I was aiming to do just about one more layer, so I decided to go fairly bright. Just to make sure that we have a good, a good solid, uh, contrast between the light and the dark areas. Also, my light is hitting it a bit, it's a bit shiny, it's a bit hard to see, but we're basically hitting the upper parts. We're now starting to look at where the light hits to make sure that we get those areas bright and popping. And as you can see, a slow, steady and smooth brushwork is important here. You don't want to be skittish, but if you have a problem with keeping a steady hand, and um, try to get a brush with a slightly longer, thinner tip. Now, with the entire mech painted up, we, oddly enough, hit it with a layer of wash. This is um, Camo Green from Army Painter. They have some of the best washes in the, in the branch, I think. But, you know, for intents and purposes, it is not important what wash you take. Don't do contrast paint on this step, because that will undo... <laughs> Almost all the work did up to this point. No, we just want to tint things, smooth them out a bit. 
make them blend into each other. And I say, Army Painters washes are designed to do this. If you have a big can of it, just dunk it. Dunk and flick. But beyond that, just make sure you cover in time make. It's easy to forget some places. Also, mop up if you get any big poolings of things anywhere. Now, something you have with the focus, I'm terribly sorry about that. Um, I think I accidentally uh, raised the camera a bit. But, um, to do with the done drunken haze, you can see that we are now going over everything once it's dry and just hitting the topmost parts. This is to pull attention towards these edges and um, things with light would normally catch. Now you could do this on just one side if you want to, if you want to really, like for example, if you want to, print, want to have your make being in a desert environment, you can just do this from one side to get really emphasize the strong sun. Or you can do it evenly all over as I did. We also have adding some white to the cockpit to make sure that we later on can put some orange contrast paint over that. Quick easy way to get a good nice uh, cockpit window without having to gem things. With that done we move on to the yellow and uh, to make my life easier here I used a uh, yellow base paint from Games Workshop. Again, the base paints have the advantage of being very pigment rich, but a bit more difficult to work with for detail work. They're slightly thicker. Great for covering, and uh, at this stage, don't be shy with the paint. It's yellow. Yellow don't like. I think I, by the end, had applied about three layers of this paint onto the make to make sure that we got a good solid coverage of yellow. Once that's done, I went over it with some uh, lining and uh, some highlighting. I also thinned this paint down a little bit and used it for pinstriping the make because the Delta Galaxy has this habit of painting yellow lines along the contours of their make. It looks really cool. I'm probably going to adapt this for an entire star at some point. But yeah, the trick here is, uh, is to wet the paint down a bit, make it flowy but not separating and then short strokes gentle short strokes stabilize your brush unless you're really steady on your hand you can long swooping ones i'm not yet so i do a bit shorter do a few with passes in the air first and then lower it gently down until it touches metal or plastic and then you have a nice smooth line if you want to here you can then go in with a darker paint in the shadow areas and highlight it as usual. Now we're gonna wrap up with just painting the weapons and then move on to the beauty shots because that's how we do it. Until next time, I don't know what we're gonna do, something most likely. But that is yet to be determined. So this is a pouncer, nice make. Here comes the beauty shots. And I'm currently just waiting for the Kickstarter stuff to arrive. There's going to be a lot of mechs in that. We're going to have a lot of fun with that. But here it is. A pouncer from the Clan J Falcon Delta Galaxy. Until next time. Stay safe. Be kind. And do, do play fair. Bye.